Thinking of doing some torrenting? Mmm, torrenting is not for the faint of heart. I mean, you can accidentally download malware, or get throttled by your ISP, or even unknowingly download pirated content getting yourself in trouble with the law. But a good VPN for torrenting can prevent most of these problems. So in this video, I'm going to overview the best ones for exactly just that. I'll even cover how to download torrents safely and some other common issues. So internet service providers or ISPs often throttle the connection speed of users who torrent since it's a bandwidth heavy activity. But with a VPN, all your ISP sees is that you're connected to a VPN server. It won't actually be able to detect torrenting and thus would have no reason to reduce your speed. Now, essentially, we're just basically downloading torrents anonymously at this point. It's also not a secret that torrenting can be used to download pirated content, which makes some ISPs restrict access to torrenting sources. But a VPN allows you to anonymously download all torrents. And while doing all that, it also keeps your IP masked, so it won't be associated with torrenting, since all you're doing is receiving data from a VPN server, which in turn will be associated with torrenting instead of you specifically quick word of advice. If you want to ensure that you're protected, yeah, well, maybe you should make sure your VPN is turned on before you start torrenting. The best VPN for torrenting now and beyond needs to satisfy certain criteria to be useful. Some providers don't even allow torrenting with their services, so it's great when you see servers specialized for torrenting. I mean, they are optimized to perform better with P2P file transfers anyway. NordVPN, PrivateVPN, and Surfshark torrenting servers are much safer to use, especially if you're torrenting in countries that prohibit it. But even if torrenting is allowed, it's not going to help too much without proper security and performance already in place. See, the better security you get from the VPN, the greater your chances to remain anonymous online. Some VPNs talk big in terms of safe torrenting, but fail to provide the measures against IP leaks. Ola VPN is a prime suspect here. To make sure your IP is not revealed during any moment of the torrenting process, you are going to have to have, that's right, a kill switch. This feature doesn't allow any personal data leaks when the connection breaks, and this is important, because even if there's one second of VPN downtime during download, your IP will already be leaked, notifying your ISP of what you're actually doing. Now these VPNs, however, have reliable kill switches. VPNs utilize encryption to allow you to torrent safely. Even if an encrypted connection is intercepted, there's no way to find out what's inside. The best VPNs for torrenting offer reliable ciphers that barely reduce connection speeds. For example, IPVanish, Atlas VPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark all provide a modern ChaCha20 cipher. These last two VPNs are two of the safest choices since they also have RAM-only servers, which can't even record data passing through them, making sure VPN providers or any other third parties have no access to them. Now, while security is paramount in keeping you out of trouble, performance is also quite necessary to speed up the torrenting process. The speed of P2P file transfers mostly depend on your peers. That's how torrenting works. But good VPNs for torrenting will help you preserve your speed. Now, I've run multiple tests with these five VPNs, and you can see that comparing those speeds to my baseline speed, the download speed on the server closest to me is almost unaffected by the VPN. The NordVPN torrenting speed is especially impressive. Even IPVanish, who's lacking specialized servers, or private VPN torrenting, who's without a modern protocol right now, well, they still show high speeds. When torrenting with NordVPN and IPVanish, you can use the SOX5 proxy to further increase your speed. Proxies don't have encryption, so there's nothing to slow your connection down, but it still also hides your IP from anyone in the tracker pool. Now for torrenting, ideally you connect to the closest server, perhaps in your own country, or maybe in the country closest to you if they have torrenting restrictions in your current location. Now your traffic is going to be masked either way, so all should be fine as long as you choose a VPN with good privacy practices. Providers of truly anonymous VPN services have transparent, no-log policies and participate in independent audits to ascertain their validity. NordVPN and Surfshark torrenting reliabilities are supported by frequent audits. Okay, now one thing you should keep in mind is that by keeping a downloaded file, well, that's actually fine, but there's a catch. By having the file, 
you can still end up helping others download it as long as your torrent client is on. Now, if you do that, you're gonna need to keep your VPN on as well. If the files that you're helping to download are not copyright protected, you're fine. But if you're distributing pirated content, mm, yeah, that might lead to some legal repercussions. Now, besides the essentials, some VPNs offer additional features that also help with torrenting. For example, split tunneling. It's a great feature, especially if you need a VPN for torrenting, but don't want your other apps or websites to be affected by it. Now, Surfshark is the best option with this feature since it's present on all platforms except iOS. IP Vanish has it, but only on Android, while NordVPN has it on Android and Windows. Private VPN and Atlas VPN torrenting are a bit hampered by their lack of this feature. Another useful feature is port forwarding, which increases the number of peers you can connect to at the same time, which does raise your download speed. But as useful as it is, port forwarding is currently only found on private VPN at least when looking at all the other VPNs mentioned here. Now, of course, not everything can be solved by a VPN. A good torrenting app is also part of how to download torrents safely. Personally, I recommend Qubit Torrent. It's lightweight, doesn't have ads or bloatware, unlike the once popular Moo Torrent. Now, as for torrent files themselves, choose only those that look safe enough. If the torrent has been around for over a week, has a healthy discussion about it, and has been reported by other users as good, well then yeah, it's good enough for me. Some final notes here, always be cautious if you're torrenting, especially without a VPN. We actually recommend you don't even bother torrenting without a VPN. And even if you're downloading non-copyrighted content, torrenting always attracts unwanted attention from your ISP. Let's be honest, you don't need that hassle. So if you plan to use a VPN as you should, don't fall for the best free VPN for torrenting stuff. I recommend going for the services that can provide you all the benefits that we've mentioned in this video. Lots of downloads are not a good measure of quality. By the way, Ola VPN was downloaded a lot and it's one of the worst scams in the history of VPNs. I would certainly recommend NordVPN for your torrenting experiences, for sure. And remember, a good VPN can only do so much. So if you want to know more about cybersecurity apps and what you can do to protect yourself, well guess what? Our channel is a great place to start. You can always share your torrenting experiences in the comments below, or maybe even give us your predictions for the best VPNs for torrenting in 2022. And if you have a topic you want us to cover, well, just ask. We'll probably do it. Thanks, this has been Mike, and I'll see you guys in the next one.